these constant government shutdowns and having to vote <clears throat> to have more money for the government it's getting ridiculous I think uh, I think it's all being you know they got multiple mansions you know they're making big time money and uh, they got multi-million dollar mansions and multiple multiple million dollar mansions off of a uh, hundred thousand bucks a year and something like that and uh what's going on i think is they're slowly going they're trying they're going to try to it's like uh corporations say they go broke after like 50 years of giving retirement because they can't pay out if they got enough people that uh you know how a lot of these places were laying off about a decade or two ago where they went through that big layoff all them people were laid off from their jobs so that these companies could continue to uh manufacture whatever whatever the company was because the uh retirement plans were breaking companies they say after 50 years these big corporations were breaking because of uh retirement plans i think that's what this government thought oh we can do that and uh, so they started this freaking uh not having enough money to run government buildings while they got multi-million dollar houses they can't they don't know how to manage their money they're wasting freaking money <clears throat> and what they're going to do is they're going to uh they're going to say, we don't, this country doesn't have enough money. We're going to have to turn, they're not going to say turn communist, but that's exactly what's going to happen. And they're going to say, well, we don't have enough money. And they're going to still be living high on the hog. In fact, it's not going to be a hog anymore. It's going to be like a camel because they're going to be, they're going to be uh, whatever, you know, hanging out with freaking Saudis and stuff, which is what I think they want to do. I think Biden's up there trying to probably pawn his daughters off onto some Saudi Saudi billionaires, you know. Hey, I got some uh, I got some daughters I can get, you know, because he heard of Clinton and all that. Guy, I've seen an email today. And I can't remember what it was, who it was from. I couldn't dig. It, it wouldn't load. Uh, it came to me, but then there was uh, the place where it actually loaded out to. Uh, it wouldn't load out, so. I can't, I can't pass it on, but it was saying, shoot, I can't remember what it was saying now. It was saying all, how all the people are connected, you know, with the, all, all the, the, oh, that's what it was, uh, the, how WHO and Bill Gates and that were, had given money to, uh, that Wuhan, uh, lab. Wuhan lab, or was it the people that are doing the vaccine? I can't remember. I think it's the Wuhan lab or vaccine the vaccine because there's a place the vaccine where the vaccine is made for the where where this vaccine is coming from it was bought from china just so happens that china's this is, must be some multi-trillion dollar profit management uh you know infect the world make it up in vaccine i don't know i don't know how the what the deal is on vaccine is how much it's costing but the whole world needs it, so that's you know, that's how you make your money. You, you don't you don't overprice it. You uh, you make it so everybody can afford it, and that way you sell more, you make more. You just make it cheap or something. But anyway, no, I'm just thinking. Uh, that's what the government's going to do. Is they're going to down the road? No, they, they, I mean not even down the road. They're already doing it. There's, but the, you know that I bet that's the first thing they're, they're going to start doing is we can't afford this country anymore. Either, yet they got more people in jobs. There's more jobs being created every year. There's more of this. There's more of that. There's more taxes. They keep raising freaking taxes. Yeah, they lowered them uh, the the income tax, but property taxes go up, and so that goes up. And who knows what you know? It that helps uh, government that you know the burden of the states. Which everything's a burden. Everything government has and runs is a burden because they're they're inefficient. Anyway, all I was saying, all I'm trying to say, is watching this interim Congress trying to vote on keeping the government going. 
for who knows what, what is it how much they're going to give and, and it's going to keep a run for that you know there's people got their hands in this pocket you know i mean why are why does the people if see that's what they're waiting on they got a government we're going to have to have a government of people against the government that's how that's the only way we're going to have to make that's what we ought to do the people are going to have to make a government to go against this government we're going to have to make our own laws. The people are going to have to make our own laws, and we're going to have to vote on them. That's how this is going to. That's how this is going to happen. And we're, we're going to have to make our. The people are going to have to get together, make our own laws, our own government, and vote this government, their bad practices, out of existence. That's what we got to do.